Bro, we need to talk. Sophia said yes, and we want to get married. Mama is not endorsing. Oh, till you marry by. At least not now. You have to wait for your older brother to get married first. That is the order of things. Hi everyone, it's Ahina also here for Afro Forever TV. We are live at the premiere of The Order of Things, a movie directed by Dr. Sid. Actually, this is his directorial debut, so I in particular cannot wait to see what he has in store for us. Now, this movie is star-studded as well as this premiere. A lot of celebrities are on this red carpet, and I'm going to be speaking with them. I have a very interesting question for them, right? So, this is me tied to The Order of Things. My question for them is, do you always keep your life in order? Do you set your priorities in order? Other, or you just allow things flow most of them are going to answer this question and I'm very sure you want to know the answer so keep watching Afro Forever TV I will be right back with all the interesting highlights of this premiere so keep watching you about this story? So, um, the story is written by a writer called um, uh, Mike Shelton um, and he wrote the story and I found it online and I, I read the synopsis and I felt that it was something that Nigerians would instantly appreciate and connect with I and connect with and you know the idea was just like how do we bring this to Africa so we had to rewrite the story and um, for an African audience and I think it came out really well and I'm super excited about is acting something you want to delve into? I think acting is amazing. I think it's not easy at all. Yeah. But um, as you can see now, now as the spirits they move me, I, I, it's definitely <laughs> something I'm interested in, and, and, and I would love to to be open to more roles. Yes. Okay. So tell me about your character. Well, she's sweet and feisty. Mm. You know. Something you're not related to, right? Your real personality. Is. DJ doesn't. I feel have like. Character, I so feel like. I feel like. Deep down inside, we are, we are, we have some of those oh, things. I think we, we just need the right people to bring it out on, of us. I think, I think that's what it was. So, is this character I brought out? Person. She's amazing. <laughs> I can't wait to meet her. On absolutely, screen. she's absolutely no Raven. Raven is there's Raven and Sunshine. So I play Raven and Sunshine, and they're the same people but different, different personalities on different days. Honestly, I just came to support Seed because it's his first uh, production. So, you know, I know it can be very, you know, tricky your first time around. So it's good when friends come around to support. Yeah. So have you seen the trailer of this film? Uh, I haven't. I want to surprise myself, but I love the title, The Other of Things. So I'm hoping there's a bit of comedy in it. Tell me one thing that can set, that can turn you off on a date with a girl. If you're out on a date with a girl, tell me one thing she can do to just turn you off. When she said I should pay for everything. Huh? Yes. I don't, I don't understand, my brother. <laughs> this is not long enough, bro. <laughs> I don't get it, man. Well, you don't want to pay for everything. Yes, now that's why I don't like bro girls. Ladies, please it's don't go out. We don't go out on a date with him, even though you are not oh, broke. No. Don't break the girl code. He has to pay for everything, duh. So what about you? What, what, what can a girl do to just turn you off on a date? Whoa. A lot of things. So, so the thing is, um, we go through a discussion here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You understand? So I think it's in the discussion that we we'll get turned off. Hey. I've met someone, and I, I was like, uh, we had a discussion. We we're talking. So I was like, so what's your dream? What do you have in your stock? Like, what's your plan? Um, she said, 
and my dream is to go for Big Brother Niger. That was that was a huge turn off. Yeah, bad thing, though. You that guys, was, come yo, on. Yo, yo, I don't know where you are, but yo, that was a big turn off. Why? <laughs> How do you say your dream? <laughs> Tell me why you're out tonight for the premiere of this film. So I've known Dr. Sid for many, many years, and if you've known him as long as I, I, I have, you you know that he's always talked about shooting a film. He's always talked about wanting to shoot a film. And a lot of people talk about wanting to shoot a film yeah. that never do. And so first of all, um, kudos to him, Dr. Sid, for this achievement. I mean, it's a really, really big achievement. And he's not doing film on a, on a starter pack level. It's like, it's, he's going for the top range of movies. Um, and so I'm super proud of him. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm here, to support him, to show him that, yes, you know, we're behind you. You know, you, we have your back. Um, but again, as I, I always say, a, a film would rise and fall to the level of the filmmaker. Yeah. Um, and I know him to be a very intelligent, very smart guy. Yeah. And so I fully expect that we'll see that being reflected in the quality of the film that we're watching today. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm great, baby. So we're on? live at the premiere of The Other of Things. Yes. Tell me, why are you here tonight? Ah. My guy is uh, the, he's, he's a major director, and I'm proud to say it. That is daughter Sid, the amazing daughter. <laughs> That's why I'm here. What the kind of guy that sets his life or his activities um, in order, or you just allow things go? Okay, so now some people say that planning is key, mm -hmm. and I agree with that. But sometimes I think we should just flow with life, because they say that we plan, but God does what. God, they arrange them. Now our plan, wait till we plan. No, we wait till God feel one for us, right? Right. So how about you work hard, work smart, pray to God to lead you. Oh, yeah. Amen. That's what, that's what I said. Amen, Pastor. Yeah, I'm Thank you very much, Abisa. I'm a preacher. High five. We're out here tonight for the order of things, and I learned that you actually worked on this project. So tell me, in what capacity? So I was a part of the soundtrack. Amazing, amazing music everywhere. Oh, you have? Sleepy, so. Okay, Fez, Fez. It was a beautiful journey working with Dr. Sid and some of the other artists on this project. Actually, I got I got a Dr. Sid feature off of this project, you know? So, like, shout out to Dr. Sid, shout out to Zero Gravity, you know? Everybody turning up. <laughs> so tell me, um, this is Dr. Sid's directorial debut. What, what do you expect from here? Um, Dr. Sid is a creative in many ways, apart from his music. I've actually uh, done a short film that he wrote uh, before so uh, him and a friend of mine called Arnold wrote that so um, judging by that and his creative thought processes I'm sure this is going to be a blast too. One thing, in the, one thing that happened in this film is that they tried to hook up, hook up some guy and he had to go on several dates mm. so let's assume that it's you and you're trying to get somebody. What can turn you off on a date? If a girl doesn't have good speech, good vocabulary you can be 11 over 10 the moment you open your mouth and it sounds somehow a mouth. Ah. Yeah. So tell me one thing that can turn you off on a date. Hmm, turn me off. There are a lot of things. One thing, boring conversation. Like I've, I've once been on a date that was more like a job. I always say this, like it was more ah. like a job interview than a date. And we had these like awkward pauses. You know, so he will ask a question, I'll answer, and it'll be like a long, awkward pause. And then I'll be like, oh my god, I have to salvage this. And I'll ask another question, and it was like, oh, what's terrible? Hey guys, what's happening? We're still live at the premiere of The Order of Things, and I have with me one of the cast members of this film. How you doing? I'm so excited to be here tonight. So I want you to introduce yourself to the audience. My name is Tokwalonio. I play the character Sophia in The Order of Things. So now Guys, when they say geek shake, this is what it means. So you really look, you really look good tonight. Thank you. Okay, let's talk about Sophie in the order of things. Tell me about her. Uh, Sophie is a Nigerian girl who is um, who really wants to get married. She's not desperate, but at where her life is now, the next line of action for her or the next order of thing is to get married. Okay. So do you resonate with Sophie in any way, like in terms of setting things in order in your life? Well, I mean, uh, it's good to have a plan. They say he who fails to plan, plans to fail. But I also say with experience of life so far, I'm very 
open to just taking life, um, allowing life to take its course. As much as you want something to go this way, that may not be God's plan for you. So I'm oh, as much as I have my plans, I'm still open to God's direction. Wow. So see, there's one thing that happened in this film. Um, I think some character, the lead character in this film, they had to set him up on several dates. And I want to believe some did end up well because I saw him on the trailer on several dates. If it went well, it went well on several dates. Yeah. So tell me one thing that can turn you off on a date with a guy. Oh man, different things to be honest. It can it can be as simple as um, what now burping without being polite about it. Yeah, or uh, being uncultured or being loud. It could be anything. Oh, okay. But yeah, let's talk about you playing your character. Tell us about it. I mean, it was an amazing experience. First of all, it's my lead role, first lead role I've ever played. But then getting to read the script from Dr. Sid and seeing like you know his vision, and I'm kind of like. You know, it's a rom-com, and I've always seen rom-coms growing up, but then this is a specific sort of rom-com. The underdog falling in love, and we are all underdogs in our lives, and we all want that special somebody to fall in love with. We all want our lives complete, so I, I can only say, like, I feel like I'm a representative of, like, the underdog finding love. Everyone can find love. Everything can be perfect, you know. So tell me, how was it like working with Dr. Sid, considering that this is his directorial debut? What I love about Dr. Sid is because he's a, he's a student of film. He's not about all the wishy-washy. When it comes to being on set, it's like, this is a scene I want to shoot. This is a story. You're an actor. You're my canvas. I want you to be my vessel and bring this to life. Let's see. So, <laughs> Why would you not act well? You know, it, it, all that, all that just. And at first, it feels like pressure, but then, if, but then, when you think about it, as an actor, you want to, you know, bring out your best and you know, show show your range. And you need a good director like Dr. C to give you the best of your ability to you know present yourself. Why why are you out here tonight? Well, I'm a friend I'm a friend of one of the crew members and you know he pretty much dragged me out here to come watch what they've created and I can't wait to see the magic that happens inside. This film is about the order of things. Are you the kind of guy that sets things in order? Like, it has to be this way, this way, this way. Or you just allow things go or flow in your life? Well, I think I'm a bit of both, but more of the first, because I pretty much like things in order. But whatever happens, it happens. So tell me, are you the kind of girl that, you know, keep things in order, set things in order in your life, or you just allow things flow, like, whatever? It depends what needs to be set in order. For instance, my life, I just let things happen because God has the will, so I'm just following. So at this point, what should be in order? Maybe my room should be in order, my clothes, but life itself, uh, I just leave it. I'm just leaving it. Interesting. So last question. Um, tell me one thing that can turn you off on a date with a guy. On a date? Yeah. Please repeat that question. One thing that can turn you off on a date? Okay. One thing that can turn me off on a date, if, if they don't smell nice, if they not high, high, I like clean things, so if they're not clean, I don't know, I might just go home. So if you're not clean, if you don't smell nice, don't come around, Jessica. They, they use that for. You want Colette? I have a nice present, right? Bro, I'm sorry I ruined your life plans. What's up everybody, Sunana Afrodija and I'm right now here on Afro Revo TV.